Hello folks, my name is Rob Appel and I'm a quilt maker and I'm also part of this incredible organization called Stitch in Heaven out here in Quitman, Texas. We are a retail quilt shop, but also a retreat and event center. And I was blessed to just finish up my first five day long quilting retreat in this beautiful building right behind me with the most incredible lighting and facility for getting together with all of our friends to sew and quilt. We had an incredible time. The weather was perfect, perfect for quilting. It even rained a little bit to make us cozy, but then it was also beautiful out so we could come and enjoy the beautiful outside, sit by the pond. Wow, we were able to, of course, enjoy the retail shop. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, maybe what you could expect if you were coming to a retreat now that I've been part of one myself. We recommend you fly into either the Dallas airport or the Tyler, Texas airport. Dallas is about a two hour drive. Tyler is about 45 minutes but you often have to go into Dallas first anyways. So I usually just fly into Dallas and make the drive super simple that way. Once you arrive, uh, the rooms are set up for two person occupancy. So you'll be able to camp out with your buddy. Well, I shouldn't say camp. The facility is absolutely gorgeous. So not only are the sewing spaces fabulous, but also the sleeping spaces with their own bathrooms. Let's tour one of the uh, quiet private back bedrooms. You can see they have nice, comfortable beds for two in most of them. They have wonderful quilts on the wall and then they have a very nice little restroom back here uh, with a nice shower and sink and uh, potty. And so everybody has a little extra space they can also get away to and sleep <laughs> if you sleep at a quilting retreat, right? Um, like I said, it's set up for two guests per room, but we also have these incredible cottages across from the retreat center. Uh, so like in this last event, I had two gentlemen come and stay and just so everybody felt uh, extra private and um, we set up uh, those gentlemen in one of the cottages and then all of the ladies stayed in the main retreat center, which actually sleeps 24. And then we've got sleeping for another 24 in those cottages. So everybody felt super comfortable uh, to come as they are, sew as they are, quilt as they are, and it was really, really awesome that way. What are you thinking of the retreat so far? I am having a wonderful time. Yes. Absolutely great people, friends, food, amazing, and our host. Yes, it's been great. Some of the guests, because they were coming from out of state, well, most of the guests came from out of state for my event, because I'm actually usually in California, but uh, it was incredible. So you can actually choose to uh, come in a day early if you like, as long as the retreat center is available and they'll just charge you a little extra for lodging. If you're flying via aircraft, you do not need to bring a sewing machine. They have sewing machines available right here. Right now we're using beautiful Bernina uh, 475s, but you just never know what they'll have at the different events because we often have the, some, the incredible machines on our cruise ships. So depending on what's going on with our different crews or our Land Ahoy event, Sometimes we have different machines in rotation. So that's really cool. You can kind of actually come and try and experience. At my retreat, because I love uh, free motion quilting so much, we set up one of the handy quilter Amaras on the frame. And they have a little short frame for demoing at the back of a sewing room. And that was fun. Everybody was signing their names and quilting all over the demo fabric. And we even quilted uh, my friend Carl's quilt while he was here. Uh, he made one of the quilts that was kind of the similar to the backdrop of my show, it's called So Well. Uh, but back to what you could expect, of course. Uh, you get a goodie bag when you arrive. Uh, we, you get er extra early shopping hours, and well, because of me, you know, I think uh, I'm a little bit silly and wanted to cause some extra fun shenanigans. We even broke into the shop late at night to uh, throw candy uh, covered darts at a quilt on the floor. So we were having an incredibly good time. Joseph in the Technicolor dream coat here. Very nice. Very nice. And they're super bestest parts about being at a Stitch in Heaven retreat is you get to come in an hour early before the store every morning and make sure you load up on all the best sewing and quilting supplies. And it's kind of fun to see all of the behind the scenes going on. Folks are getting ready for work. People are doing their lessons and their training. They're goofing off, getting ready for coffee with Anita, that kind of stuff. So anyways, it's really great to be here on property where we get to sleep, sew, and shop all together here at Stitch in Heaven. That's the other thing I love about this place is it's our property. And so the sewing room is actually open 24 seven. We ask the last person out, turn off the lights, make sure that that door is locked and that the irons are turned off. But you actually have access if you're a retreat guest to the, your sewing machine the entire time you're here. 
most folks do need to sleep a little bit, but it was kind of fun. We had some real night owls and we had some early birds and they would be shipped passing uh, over threads in the morning or the, the four or five a.m. hours. It was pretty fun to see. Um, the food is incredible. It is catered by local caterers that come in and they deliver um, at least two squares a day. I enjoyed having a brunch about mid-morning and then having a wonderful earlier meal. And of course, there was plenty of snacks and beverages. The coffee was flowing constantly. Wow, I have just walked inside the retreat center here. You can even hear the echo. This is a huge, wonderful quilting space. Now, nobody's here yet. The staff is just getting things set up. They're putting out the table. Everyone gets their little personal sewing space, the trash cans. They're setting up a long arm and a frame. They've got these big, beautiful design walls. But look at this incredible space we've got in here for all of the sewing time. I think we're going to have close to 30 people at my event. I think they usually have no more than 35, so everyone has great space. Over and behind me here is the beautiful kitchen. They bring in a bunch of wonderful catered food. So this is just going to be an incredible event. Now, you know I'm pretty excited because it's the first time I get to teach a full workshop like this here at Stitch in Heaven, but they have them almost every week. As a matter of fact, funny enough, I arrived on Sunday night and there was a retreat still sewing and everyone was up after 10 o'clock when I got on the property. And I even put makeup on for it. <laughs> and I almost walked in the door and yelled, sorry, I'm late. So anyways, it's just a wonderful experience. There's so much sewing and quilting that goes on basically around the clock here in Quitman, Texas. And we hope you'll join us for one of these wonderful retreats. Now, as people start to come in throughout the rest of the event, I'll introduce you to some of my old friends and new friends. I, I can't believe there's some folks I've seen that are coming from states and states away. This is going to be incredible. And I'm just going to bring you along for the whole event and just show you all of the great things that happen within our food, fun, and fellowship here at a quilting retreat in Stitch in Heaven. Hey, Cinda. Yes. Being that you were clowning around, what are you thinking of the retreat so far? Well, I've been to very many Stitch in Heaven retreats. This one's been a blast. After Jerry and I learned to get along. Oh, good. All things have gone well. <laughs> Fantastic. So, you were more of a Bobby fan to begin with, huh? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Bobby fan. <laughs> That's yeah. great. So it's, it's fun. It's, this is a more different than I've ever done before, so it's making me think, which is good. Great. So, yeah, I love it. Well, this is my first retreat ever, and I love, love, love it. And for the first time ever, I never, ever, ever go anywhere without makeup or my hair done. And I, I haven't even made time to do that. Well, we're so busy quilting, <laughs> right? Okay, look okay. at this. Jane's got a super fan sticker on her machine over there. Awesome. What are you yeah. thinking of the retreat so far? It's okay. It's okay. I have learned a lot. It's my first retreat, and it's a blast. I made the mistake I'm a townie and I'm not sleeping over and everybody is having a good time at night and I'm going home so tonight I'm staying late. Excellent. Good to hear. Yeah. Okay, this is exciting. We may have developed a really fun game using the quilt. We will see after hours tonight. <laughs> Students are required to build their own projectile and toss for cash. It, it's gonna fly. She ain't fancy, but she's gonna fly. Fancy might, might be too much. <laughs> we have a little bush. Oh my goodness, look at that. I think that could be a winner as well. Okay. There you go. Nice. I think she's on the dark blue, don't you? Is this your prank? What is called? Yeah. 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 It's called right, right. Theme. Did I mention you could put magnets in them? Oh. <laughs> yeah. The only part where the magnet is. Woo! Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. At my event, we were working on one of the quilts that I had designed. So there were kits available, and uh, that's how we often do it. But you can also actually charter the entire event center or the retreat center and the cottages for your own private guild-related retreats, or maybe uh, just a group of friends that want to get together and sew. So you can always contact our travel and event center at, at Stitch in Heaven. 
Now for myself, I love to stay in the cottages when I come out here to do the filming of the tutorials or just help with the special events. And most of the educators also will stay right here on property. So even though class ends around four or five when that wonderful meal is served, I was in the room until at least 11.45 each night. You can probably tell by the bags under my eyes. I haven't slept in about five days, but I also have uh, cramps in my cheekbones from laughing and smiling so much. There were folks from probably eight or nine different states that came together and it was so neat to just see that camaraderie and the and the new groups of friends, the phone numbers and emails that were being exchanged. Of course, most of the events will also have their own private Facebook group for early communication and post communication because, you know, once you've quilted with somebody, you're friends for life, of course. And so uh, that's one of the things that I really enjoy doing uh, myself was just kind of uh, spending time visiting with each person that was there and helping them, of course, with their quilting projects, but also really just getting to know the folks and, and seeing photos of some of their other quilts and their grandkids and talking about their pets and all that kind of fun stuff that we really love to do. You know, every workshop or every retreat is going to be different. And uh, so, of course, if you come out to one of my classes, you can certainly expect some late night shenanigans, uh, extra high energy, probably some skateboarding around in the building, maybe even flying the drone inside while you're trying to sew. But like I said, you're also welcome to come as a small group and just charter the facility and just take a nice, quiet sewing um, retreat. We also do lots of things like the Friends of Judy retreat where folks get together and work on specific styles of projects where we have educators that are really dialed into like the Quilt Works projects, but you're still really free to be working on whatever you like to be working on. So uh, I just don't know if I can say enough positive things. I, I'm pretty wound up. I'm pretty excited after spending five days sewing and quilting with about 30 folks and uh, boy, it was incredible. And I'd just like to encourage all of you, if you ever get a chance to enjoy the magic of a quilting retreat here at Stitch in Heaven, please join us. It's just incredible. And if maybe retreat's not your kind of thing, maybe you'd enjoy going on a cruise with us. Or again, we also do the Land Ahoy events uh, where we travel together to different uh, locations around the United States and get beautiful facilities and sew together as well. So I just really want to encourage everybody to continue to spread the love of quilting and sewing. Make sure you're encouraging your friends to try it out if they haven't done it. Allow me to help teach you. I've got a bunch of wonderful videos coming up this year uh, on the So Well Stitch in Heaven YouTube channel and we're just having a blast here. So thank you folks for watching this little video and I uh, really hope to see you in person at one of our magical quilting retreats. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. It really helps support our channel. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Hit the little button to be notified every time we go live or do a new video for all of you. And here's one from the past I think you'll really enjoy.